Welcome back to the free to play account. The account with not a zero penny spent. And we've got the North Europe Origin Series event of 2023. And Valtteri Bottas and KMAG are the ones that are basically boosted this week. And we haven't even got Bottas very high indeed. And KMAG only sitting at level 3. This is the car we are using and it's going to be tough in Challenger, very tough. I'm not expecting anything amazing because everybody at this level will be using the boosted drivers, yet we don't have the required levels to push very high. But we're in Challenger, we're going to try and get through to the final round and basically just see where we finish and hope for some decent up to series six rewards so that is the key as we look for our very first race to show you of this series this weekend and i hope you're doing well i hope you are getting on let me know how much you enjoy these free to play accounts because it is certainly a big challenge for me to do and i like to say it is possible to do as well we are missing out though there's items like Hydra and Flow that are on the premium pit pass. And sadly, we are no spending, so we can't get them. Which means other players are getting further ahead. So race four out of four qualifying time in Zazuka. And we're starting P6 and P8 here. And it is a wet start for both drivers. So decent qualifying position for Challenger. And hopefully that will continue all the way through. And can we get a good start? So here we go. Lights out and away we go. And can K-Mag get the boost start that he needed anywhere up the inside? And he does make a move. He's up the inside of Norris now and looking at the back of Carlos Sainz and gets up to P4. Nicholas Latifi chasing through behind Lando Norris in P6 as well. And this is a great start to racing for Azadw F1 in race number four and a bit of carnage on the last section there and Latifi does drop down a position and KMAG also losing a position as well so what turned out to be an amazing start sees us start going backwards three quarters of the lap through and it is going to be a little bit of a challenge here to try and overcome as we start lap two, and we're going to probably look at a 3-2-2, but we are going to hopefully get some dry weather running later on in this race. So we are going to look after tyres as much as we can. P4, not getting away from us too much. Lando Norris looks like just ahead of us, and he is the wet weather superstar. So six seconds, and we're going to get some dry weather. And how long is that dry weather coming for? 40 seconds. So is it going to be one of these races where it changes every 40 seconds and gives me a bigger headache than what I could imagine? As we settle down, race number four, track drying very quickly, but the rain is due to come out again as Hamilton gets past us. And can KMAG go back up the inside? He can. The old let him pass, come back straight through. And we are definitely going to look like we'll have to pit here for more sock, or maybe even wets. I think it is going to be wets. How long is this rain going to come in for? We're about to find out. Three, two, one. And the rain is 20 seconds. So this is absolute carnage. We've got to go dry tyres, surely, here. And with four laps to go... It's got to be the hard tyre I think we've got to use and try and push out four laps if we can. So what does the AI do? Will the AI go on to wet? They will. The AI on to wet tyres as KMAG comes out the pits. Oh, I didn't get Norris. So we're the only ones going on to hards and we should be able to fly past these and then conserve. As KMAG, we're going to have to hold our time here because the track is drying, just not very quickly. 35 it's on now, and we're about to lose a position to Carlos Sainz. We had to take the gamble. We go back up the inside of Carlos Sainz, and KMAG keeps hold of P4. 
and science is quickly back past us and we are struggling here but surely now 23 percent we're about to come in our own can kmag get ahead of carlos science not quite we should have probably gone for the softs or the mediums because i very much doubt oh, we've got a safety car we have got a safety car My, nick schumacher has crashed and that is going to see us round quite a lot and hopefully pull us back through the field so let's skip this part through and let's get you in to the final laps of this race So after the quickest safety car you have ever seen on F1 Clash, if we can call it that, we're back about to restart. And we are about to go racing with one lap to go with the whole field on wet tyres. So we stayed out, we used them hard tyres, we probably didn't have four laps of running, but the safety car helped us. And look at K-Mag, can he go around the outside of Max Verstappen? He closes the door. And what about coming up through the bridge? He doesn't even have to wait for the bridge. And K-Mag in to P1. Latifi up into P5. And can we do the inside? We can't. These are all on wets. We've got to be making easy meat of these, surely, as we get P4. What about P3 with Charles Leclerc? Surely we've got to get these two cars. They're absolutely on their edge. Latifi round the outside, through the inside. And it's going to be P2. For Nicholas Latifi. Wow, that was to the wire. Even though we were on dry tyres in the wet. And that made us work a lot harder than I thought it possibly would. God, I thought I was going to lose out on points there. But it is a brilliant finish to what is qualifying here in the Northern Europe event. So let's see where that finishes. 805 team score we're running, which is pretty low for challenger you want to be in about a thousand if you want to win four races 166 points and a 45 35 39 and 47 points so you might be wondering aaron why have you gone straight to the final round well it's because aaron was stupid enough not to record a race in opening round so we are did qualify for final round as you can see and we are racing the last race in Bahrain. It has been so tough. And as you saw in the first race, we started P6 and P8, I think it was. And I have honestly, every single race, started P11 to P18. It has been literally middle to the back of the grid. And we're only going to finish maybe even top 50 if we're lucky this weekend here in the northern europe event i've definitely got to do some more leveling up i am working on it but it comes and it takes time and that's the one thing you've got to remember if you're a free to play player you can't rush through here i've proved that you can stay in junior and you can get as many p1s as you want but sometimes you've got to move up and try and get them parts quickly rather than staying and getting p1 junior medals so similar qualifying again we're in the back or near the back with p13 and p15 and very unusual a bit of rain coming in in bahrain and it's a minute and 30 till that comes in so lights out and away we go and can kmag do another epic start along with latifi who is looking at the outside kmag on the inside looking at the inside of george russell can he get it done nope but the two alpines behind do get in the way of each other and that allows us to stay clear ocon comes back at magnuson but can't get the job done and what about kmag now looking at the back of gasly goes wide still can't get the move done so into another potential overtaking spot we do stack up but can't get past so we're going to be like a weather news presenter we're going to be weather watching here in bahrain and we have one minute until the rain descends on us and we don't know exactly how long that rain will last but i'm sure it will add some wetness to the fun here so can we get some final decent points to finish off this weekend it's been rough on the main account if you haven't checked that out, please do. 
and it's been rough on this account as well. But it is just one of them days in the office on my channel. So the rain's coming in 30 seconds time and we'll have some rain inbound and let's see how long it lasts because we might we could throw an early pit stop here or we could stick it out and do another lap so latifi will come round. let's bring kmag in because it's going to be a good eight second pit stop and we are absolutely risking it here and it is a six second pit stop and by the time he comes out nicholas latifi or even K-Mag, will have wet tyres on. So the rain's in for 2 in minutes and 20 seconds, and we're now pushing forward with Latifi. K-Mag's going to have to do a two-stopper anyway. Most of the field are. So that's why we've gone early on the wets to see if we can get any early advantage. And already we're up to P20, as the, uh, the old gameplay jolts a little bit. Latifi will come into the pits now from P11. He'll stick on the wet tyres as well. And I was kind of hoping it would be absolutely carnage in the pits, but doesn't look to be the case. So, K-Mag, with that early pit stop, has jumped ahead of Latifi, and he comes out behind P17 and P16, having a little battle there, and we're still pushing with K-Mag. P13, everyone running slowly who hasn't pitted, so we've got a decent chance of some early opportunities, and we've obviously got dry weather in a minute and 30 as well, so can we get Alonso? We can. And we are up to P11 with K-Mag. And what about P10? We're all over the back of Lando Norris now. Fancy move up the inside. Just can't do it. We just touch wheels with Norris. And we are in to P. Can we get up the inside? We can. We're up to P6 with K-Mag. With some pit stops in there at the minute. We're going to have to come back for some more wets. So we're just running as hard as we can here. And we've got Latifi in P11. So it is possible when it rains. I think that's the indication to take from this video. It rained in Suzuka. We finished with 1-2. It rained in Bahrain. And we're up P6, P11 at the minute. So Kema coming into the pits. And the rival also in the pits. From P5. We'll have a nice 8 second pit stop or whatever it is on here. As Latifi crosses the line. We'll carry on. And we've got dry weather in 25 seconds, but it's not going to be enough for Latifi for any dries. Magnussen out in P12. And we are now at 100% of rain. So this rain, this race will finish under the rain or the wetness of the track of Bahrain. Too many, rains in, too many rains in Bahrain, that's for sure. And Latifi, looking at Bottas, will be coming into the pits this lap for his final pit stop. We haven't got loads of fuel left on both drivers. And Latifi nearly up the inside of Bottas there, but carries on. So K-Mag, we start to push a little bit. Can we get past the rival? Not quite. And Pierre Gasly's going to the softs. That's an interesting move. And I tell you what, it is drying out very quickly. And I don't want to lose too many positions. And I haven't got a lot of fuel to push on the softs. 50%. Do we or don't we push forward? And we've got a couple of cars on the soft tyres. And Gasly, one of them, who looked... Wow, that was glitchy. I've just ended up ahead of him. Gasly struggling on the wet, on the dries. So we're going to go around the lap. It's going to be touch and go, this is. Latifi is not going to make it. But look at his fuel. It's kind of pointless pitting him. We're going to just try. We're, we're both so low on fuel. I've pushed them that hard. And we're about to go 0% chance of rain. I probably should have been more clever in this race. And I probably should have pitted earlier. Even if a lap on conserve on softs would have been better than this. So Magnussen in 8th. With no fuel. And wet tyres. And we are all struggling. Everybody is struggling in Bahrain. And maybe we can just hold on to P8. I think we will. With 0.2 amount of fuel left. What about Latifi? Gasly struggling to get past but does. And we do make a move into P13. And we've got 0 0.9, 0 0.8 fuel. We get past Russell who's smoking and struggling. 
and we're 0.1 over the line no fuel but we get p12 here in bahrain that was a pretty slow end to the race wasn't it but we score 30 points and that was a bit of a mess in the end so let's see where that leaves us in a very difficult weekend and it does only put us in 35th place 258 points some tough matchups but ultimately we just don't have the car or the drivers yet to compete at the top of the challenger division so let's see what rewards we can get from where we finish here in the northern europe event So I sit here in still disbelief that I scored 166 points in qualifying. Qualified high up on the grid, but somehow over the weekend things changed and we we're only scoring not even 30 points a race. So we got we definitely got pushed down. And look at the challenger, so tough, loads of couple of three seven sixes. So we were never gonna compete at this level at the moment. But we got through to finals. And can we get something good on the free-to-play account? We get the F medal. And it's a pretty rough weekend overall. We get 2,000 rep points to add to our worries. With 178.5k. 3 million for winning junior though. So it's a big drop-off. With some frost boost also added. We've got 23 Sebastian Vettel. And let's see if we can get anything else decent in here. We get a new The Momentum. Which I don't think it's going to be good enough at this stage just yet. I get 27 crunch. 14 blitz. And for the epic, can it be something good? Remember, up to series 6. And we get a steamroller, which is series 1. So, absolutely brilliant rewards on the free-to-play account this week. If you get my sarcasm. But, never mind. We are continuing the no-spend. I am pretty enjoying this. But challenger just seems a little too strong right now for our account so we're going to have to keep working hard and keep trying to basically upgrade this car and these drivers a little bit of spin action first of the day on this account see if we can get anything decent in here and what will it be two books to go with the limited amount i have already so we'll come out of that one. We've got a nice little gold crate to open up. See if we can get anything decent. Will it be better than the GP rewards? We get some blast, some front wing shadow, some crunch, some striker, and some Mick Schumacher. So that's not too bad. It's probably better than the GP crate. That is for sure. We've got a couple of free crates as well, but I do appreciate you watching the free-to-play account. It is there to show you how you can play without spending a fortune. Obviously, we have videos where we've spent money and that helps us win champion P1, gets us higher up. But sometimes I want to show you the proper way, which is no spend. Some people are lucky to spend, some are unable to spend. So it's nice to give you the view of another aspect of the game. This is where we are at the minute. We had Latifi and Magnussen, a fair few upgrades that are not required at the minute. We're struggling on the driver front and the car also few upgrades to do, but not the coinage to do it. We've got our momentum, which is not good enough to go on either. So we finish with the medals and I hope you enjoy the free to play account. And as always, I will see you in the next free to play account, which will be out next Tuesday. And hopefully, we can do a bit better this week.